Welcome back, one and all, to Red Dead Redemption 2. Last time, we helped out. We worked around with Micah. Oh, and here somebody comes. I've got some splaining to do. Actually, this guy probably here, probably here, probably doesn't care too much. I mean, it's just a dirty O'Driscoll. Hey, mister. Yeah, you do not give a shit. I mean, after all, it is just a dirty old, just a bunch of dirty old Driscolls. What? What? Crime reported. What? Well, I'm leaving. Let's get on to Dutch. Luckily he ain't too far away. Yep. Let's go pick up the squirrel. Poor squirrel carcass. I wasn't going to sell it anyway, I was going to give it to the camp. I've never eaten squirrel meat, but apparently it's kind of like eating chicken. Everything tastes like chicken. Fishing camp. What the hell are you doing here? Get out uh, of here, huh? Do you feel like dying today? Alright, simmer down. Hey, let me Whoa, hey! What the fuck, man? I was leaving! Dude! What the actual fuck, man? I'm taking your bourbon for that. Asshole. Yeah, then to drop your ass in the river. Goodbye. Fucking asshole. Jeez, just passing by, man.
morning, Arthur. Hey. Keep heading east. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Well, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find oh, yeah. some place sensible. Oh, we'll shake them. Oh, this was me. Mom had a brewing day. Being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive. Hi, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end Pearson's soon. Got his work cut out Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Yeah, I'm trying to find the chuck wagon. Hey, Kieran. I can never really find my way around camp. There it is, I think. I can never remember where that fucking chuck wagon is. Hell, you killed the biggest one of the bunch? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> that sure is a large one. Thank you. You, you try, Kieran. Over here. I ain't welcoming. Shut up. I don't care about the fucking fire. Where is the goddamn chuck wagon? that I got a fucking burn on my finger and it's already hurting. It's hurting. It's hurting a lot, actually. It's my own fault for burning my finger. I wasn't paying attention with the lighter and I didn't... It doesn't matter. Doesn't show up on the map. It's quite here for you, what? There he is. Why don't you sit instead of prowling around the place? Fine, I'll cook the fucking deer. I need to do that every now and again just to keep your statistics up. Yeah, I'll eat one more. There we go. Nice and full. Nothing worse than unseasoned meat. I got a bit. 
No, it doesn't. You know what? It doesn't even matter what my plans for dinner are, because you're not going to see this for a while from after I record this. I've got a lot of editing to do. Plain stringy meat. I guess that's from the squirrel. Yeah. I also got a. I also have a rabbit on there. <sighs> God's sake. Like I said, I can never find that, unless it's this son of a bitch right here. Yeah, that's Bill. Hey, Bill. Get that in Pearson's pot. I'm starving. Yeah, well, where is that exactly? I can never find where it is. God damn it. Fuck it. Cook. Plain venison? What? I can't stow it. Eat, I guess. It's a weird glitch. I mean, technically, Jackrabbit is a fawn. I don't want to talk to Dutch right now. Well. That was a mess in Valentine. We didn't even get paid for them sheep. I'm gonna go back there for it. That ain't a good idea. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Yeah. Was in that donation box by, you know, fuck it. So we moving? Yeah. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here, Dewberry Creek. He said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us moves in, looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing. Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Charles, come with me. We got work to do. Now, where have I heard that before? <laughs> Usually right before we end up in a mess we can't get out of. Moving on. Again? We have to. Fast. 
We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. So we're heading south? Yeah! Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. It goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Hello, we are criminals. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as rough. You call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. I mean, this is a big country. But now, with these Pinkertons, better paid bounty hunters, I ain't so sure. Maybe the price on our heads got too big. Yeah. They've certainly got money behind them. They've got Cornwall's money behind them for one, which guarantees even more trouble. Starting to think we shouldn't have robbed that train up back in the mountain. I think that must be it up ahead. The old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Hey well, there. let's take a look around. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. Just to be safe. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Second. I'm gonna shut the sick of it. All right, Charles, let's go take a look. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Campfire. Still burning means people are close. Everybody. Maybe they heard us come. Be careful. Either they heard us coming or they were killed recently. It's okay. You can come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? 
Ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough as I speak yours. Right. Come on, Arthur. They clearly speak yours, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. Okay, yeah. trucker man. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Arthur, you're a better Hold man up. than that. Let me check this. Anyway, when you were fishing with Jack, said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you asked me. Wait a second, just want to look closer here. along the shore here. So like you were saying before, bastards told me they'd killed Mac. They said it right in front of Jack. Ah, that kid, it's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. I've taken Mac's gonna be his father. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. If it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real young. A long while. Year Wait, Maybe just... John is his hey. father. <laughs> they carry on along this trail. So you was just talking about something? He did? And we was family, you know? I guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. You gotta let it go. He came back. There's a camp up ahead. He admitted he screwed up. Careful. Easy. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Just because it seems deserted don't mean it is deserted. this guy I don't know but you know something this is a better camp spot than back there much easier to defend maybe there he is quick cut him free let's get out of here <laughs> Vorsicht, Vorsicht! Das ist eine Pfanne! Vorsicht! 
Oh, dress goals? Three coming right at us! You can get the hell away from him! Why the hell you drag us into this, Carl? He ain't getting free until we get back, you hear me? That all of them? Doesn't look like it. Right in the throat. Last one's making a run for you. Take him down. Where to go? Well, that's them dealt with. You get him untied, we'll see what they've left behind for us. Machen Sie mich los. It's okay. Getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. All right, buddy. You're welcome. Hop on. All right. Come on. I'll take you back to your family. Was machen wir jetzt? Also soll ich mitkommen? Actually, not to mention that spot there is a great place to go fishing. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I'm kind of happy that I get to go fishing right outside of camp, right in camp, actually. Source of food. Wo bringen Sie mich hin? What the hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen ah. was it, How did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Look, I, I can... I'm sorry, friend, I can barely speak English. <laughs> I can pick up a little bit of what this guy is saying. Not much. I don't know a lot of German. I am half German. I, I can pick up a little bit of what he's saying. Thank you for the subtitles, but, uh... Yeah, I don't know much German. I can pick up, like I said, I can pick up a little bit of what he's saying. Gott sei Dank. Schatz! Oh. Andreas! Oh. Andreas! Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot! Beinahe wärst du gewesen. Meine Lieblinge. Mein Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Bramble. das ist wahr. Bramble. Uh, Ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, He's... Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Yeah. I can sell that to a fence. And the loading wheel, changing changes right. in a oh, revolver. Perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. 
Cigarettes, Arthur? Really? Those are trashy. Come on, a cigar. Now that's classy. Give a Dutch with what he's doing. If you're gonna smoke, smoke something classy. And chapter three. Clemens Point. A few days later... Got a place to wash up, too. Uh... Right on the fucking... Bounty, that's... I probably ought to get that paid off. Blackwater wants me dead or alive. Valentine is a 70... 75, that's it, wow. Strawberry is a lot higher than that. At 145. Okay. I'll be ending this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Red Dead Redemption 2 as I sell some of those shit off Pilford and probably start paying off some bounties. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.